So my name's Emily McCarthy and I work for One Agency Burnie. Now we service the Northwest Coast. I personally service from uh, all the way from Wynyard to Smithton. Um, uh, and we work in the property management department here. We've been really lucky because it's been, we've been smashed up here with new investments. There's been a lot of new um, properties come our way and they seem to be all new properties that people have bought to invest, basically. Um, now, the market has gone up in our region dramatically compared to what it used to be. So now we're kind of looking, it used to be 280 to 350, but we're looking at 350 up, but the quality of properties as well has gone up as well. Um, we've seen a lot more applicants at the moment from properties that we used to get, uh, 10 applications we're getting 20 plus which is it's great to see um and there are a lot of people in need of properties that are our way yeah so that goes along with lease renewals and rent increases as well so it's our job to work for the vendor to get the best out of their investment um, but we also know the value of a good tenant as well so a good tenant is worth taking $10 less in rent each week if they're going to stay in the property and look after it and maintain it to a really high standard. It's really good. Um, now, increases, it's important that we do go along with our increases and keep them at market value because if a vendor is going to sell their investment property, they're undervaluing it if it is at such a low low rental value for the week so it is always best to keep it at market value which we are trying to do but then you work along with the tenant and make sure that that's something that they can go along with and if not then you negotiate between the two but other than that we've been just really busy like this week i think we've got seven new properties coming our way i think seven yeah which is good, which is very good. It keeps us on our toes and very busy though. <laughs> so that's basically us for up at the Northwest Coast. Great, thanks, Emily. So I'm Tamika from K2 Property in Launceston and we service um, Greater Launceston and through to the Meander Valley. Um, at the moment, we're seeing a 0.2% vacancy rate in our market, which is fantastic for our investors, but not so great for our tenants. Um, properties are on the market for an average of three days, um, so not sticking around very long. And we're seeing about 30 inquiries per property within the first 24 hours. And every one of those people are applying. So landlords are really spoiled for choice at the moment. Um, we're seeing an average rental return of $500 per week for a standard three bedroom home and $380 per week for a two bedroom unit, which again is really great for our investors. Um, our main interest at the moment is from interstate medical professionals in the greater Launceston area and in the Meander Valley area. We've seen a real increase from families wanting that um, country lifestyle, which is great. Um, the lease renewals here in our office, it's about a 98% retention rate at the moment and we're seeing an um, average increase of $40 per week on those lease renewals. If they are turning over, we're seeing anywhere up to $100 a week um, rent increases, which is great. Um, if investors are looking to buy in our market, we're seeing at the moment um, return on investments around 4 and 5%, which is really good. We did dip earlier in the year to about a 3% return on investment. So now we're back up to sort of 4 to 5% return on investments. Lawn systems looking like a a good area to invest in again and in the Meander Valley um, we're seeing sort of five and six percent returns which again is is really good for our investors down there. So that is the Launceston and Meander Valley wrap up. I will pass over to Diane at Harcourt's Northern Midlands. Thank you. <laughs> um, so I'm Diane Warren from Harcourt's Northern Midlands. So we service from Longford right down to Oatlands. So we have a bit of a different area. Um, we have got a huge struggle rate for rentals in the Northern Midlands. They just don't come up. Campbelltown and beyond anything that's being sold, it's not for an investor, it's for an owner occupier. People want to move in down there. So I have around 70 tenants that contact me on a monthly basis. Have you got anything down there? Which I really struggle with because they just don't come up. 
Um, but when they do come up, the rent, we could put sort of any rental price on because they're in such hot demand down there that they go within like days. Some of them, I don't even put to market. I'm not even putting to market. And um, we're seeing on average 30 to 40 inquiries on properties. We're taking two property managers to inspections because we just can't keep up with the people. We're booking an hour's worth of inspection you know, with 15 minute time locks to get everyone through. And we're not even booking further inspections. So it's basically come along to the first inspection or miss out. Basically it's, we don't need to hold multiple inspections and more so because our travel time, we're so far away, we're based in Longford. So, you know, Oatlands is an hour and a half away. I don't need to do multiple inspections because I'm able to lease it off the first inspection. Um, with our leases, we're finding that for the market, oh, when they go for sale, they are very under-rented um, and that's probably one of the biggest struggles with communicating with our sales agents at the moment because they're trying to put it on for a good price, but the rental property's price is not viable in this market. So what we're actually finding is a lot of owners are waiting until the property's vacant to sell it so that it becomes better which is good for me because then it's a fresh investment, which means I can put a top dollar on it straight away when it goes for sale. And if it becomes an investor, we've got top dollar. Um, other than that, everything in Longford is like one to two days max on the market, done, gone. Um, we're looking an average 350 to 500 anywhere in between. It's insane. And basically that's my market up here. I'll give over to you, Heidi. Hi, I'm Sharon from Harcourt Sins and Helens um, from the property management team. Um, we manage from Fingal to St Helens up to Anson's Bay, so quite a large area of the East Coast. Um, our average rental at the moment for our average three bedroom home is $3.30 per week. Um, we're really struggling at the moment to find properties to put tenants in with pets. We've got a lot of our landlords at the moment that are just no, no pets, and it's really difficult. I've got some great tenants, but they've got pets, so we just can't get them in properties, which is really frustrating. Um, we are working with our landlords um, for a long-term maintenance plan, so obviously capital, capital growth for their investment, ensuring that their rent is at the current rental market. Um, we're having about 15 to 20 applicants per week. Sometimes that's a day, sometimes it's a week. At the moment, we could probably have 50 houses and still want more. <laughs> we just don't have enough properties at the moment for our applications. We've got people coming from Campbelltown over to St Helens because they can't find anything in that area and vice versa. It's just the demand for rentals at the moment is huge. Yeah. And I'll hand over to Zari from View Hobart. Hi, I'm standing in for Nat Yaxley from View Real Estate giving your Hobart report today. Um, so here's a few things that she has said, that the vacancy rates are at 0.5%. The average days on the rental market are seven days. Open homes um, getting around 15 groups on average attending. She has personally found that prices in Hobart and surroundings are starting to stabilise, where 12 months ago we were seeing big rental prices and they were still being leased. Um, now it appears to have slightly levelled. Average rents are around 480 to 500 per week. And she has also said that they have had more interstate inquiry than usual and lots of people moving down here for Christmas. And overall, the rental market in Hobart is strong and still in good demand. If the property is priced right, it will without a doubt lease with quality tenants. That is the Hobart report. Great, thanks to everyone for around Launceston. So investors, I think you'll understand by listening to these area experts that Tasmania needs some more investors down here. So if you're looking to buy an investment property down here, here are the ladies that you need to be talking to in the areas to get all the investment advice you need for your first or next investment purchase.